dear users of Laird, uh, some days ago somebody asked me how to overlay a flare on a picture. Uh, I just want to uh, use Photoshop or Affinity Photo to uh, overlay uh, my lens flare to a picture, but when I render the lens flare in EV with transparency on and then save my PNG file with transparency activated, uh, then I cannot see the flare with transparency. Uh, this is a problem that we have uh, when we use emissive materials and transparency at the same time in EV. I suppose, I'm not sure about this, but I've made some uh, tests and I suppose that the problem is there. Anyway, FLIRT is not being created uh, with the purpose of uh, working outside from Blender. Uh, so there is a way to overlay our FLIRT directly into Blender uh, using the compositor or not using the compositor. There are two ways. Uh, so uh, we have to, to choose a picture and then I go to uh, pexels.com uh, that is a very good uh, source of picture. Uh, I'll take a picture, just this one, okay, and I download for free it. Show the directory. Uh, and now here is my picture. Um, what we need to know uh, is how many pixels compose the pictures. And so uh, if I overlay the mouse here and stay for a moment there, uh, I can see that the pixels of these pictures are uh, 4016 for uh, 6016. So uh, this is very important because I have to set my scene in Blender uh, using these values. And so I go uh, there in Blender, I have a new scene, I delete the cube, uh, I create a plane. Um, and I have to assign the, these dimensions to the plane as they were uh, meters or other uh, unit. Uh, I have to go uh, there and select here the dimension as they were pixels, uh, even if they are meters. So uh, is 4016, 6016. This is our picture that is very, very big. So we don't need to, to make something big like this. Uh, now, if we press S on the keyboard and then move the mouse, we can reduce the dimension of our plane, um, taking the proportions that we have chosen for it. So this is something better because our camera is there. We have to set the same dimensions to the camera, uh, not the camera, to the... Um, to the dimension, uh, to the resolution, to the output. And so uh, here we'll have to put uh, 4016 and uh, 60162 and other camera will take these uh, dimensions. Um, I'll have to put the camera uh, perfectly tangent to our plane. Uh, so I will rotate it. This is the camera. I will Zero degree here, zero degree here, and zero. <laughs> zero, zero, zero was the best choice. Um, I have to go here to zero, zero, and zero again. And then uh, I have two choice. I can go inside my camera pressing uh, zero on the keyboard. So here are inside my camera. Then I can press G and then Z and move the mouse, uh, making this value uh, going up this is this is the wrong way this way so that I can uh, match the dimension of my plane uh, I have to go uh, really near to, to the side just to uh, get a good result if we press the shift key you will have more control on the dimensions and so uh, now I match it the dimension of the picture that I want to uh, put now into this soil. I have to delete the light and so the light is not there uh, So my camera is there now and this pointing to this plane. Uh, I'll go to the plane. Uh, I'll open a new uh, Window here. Uh, I will go uh, to shader uh, editor and I will activate uh, a new shader for this object um, it will give me uh, for default the principle BSDF. I don't care about this because I don't need it. Uh, sorry, I need the output. I just don't need this. So I delete this. Then I have to add 
uh, um, an image texture. So I add an image texture. Uh, I have to open my image. Um, so I have to go to downloads and take this image from Pexels and put it directly here in surface. Then I go to render view here and I press zero on the keyboard and I can see my pictures. Um, there is something uh, that is not completely right here uh, because we are using uh, a filmic uh, standard color management uh, into Blender. Uh, if you want to respect the original colors of the picture, uh, we have to um, remove this filmic and stay to standard. And this is how our picture should look. Yes, this is a preview that I have and it's the same picture that we can see there. Uh, if we activate the filmic, uh, as you can see, um, the filmic uh, goes to uh, modify the contrast of the pictures. Uh, it's very good when you work on 3D, uh, but here uh, I prefer to deactivate this and go to standard. Then uh, what we have to do now is to add here into the space an empty, uh, so uh, we'll add a plane axis, will work, okay, we will put uh, here in the space between the camera and our picture, um, I go back into um, camera view pressing zero and now I will uh, select the camera here and select the uh, empty that is already selected uh, that will be the light source uh, that I can move as I want so here I will use uh, this flare here and I will assign it to this ok I will match the Sun and I'll have to modify uh, the flare uh, as I like uh, I have to turn down the emission values that are uh, very powerful uh, okay uh, I just want to turn down the glow emission yes this is was very very powerful this is better uh, I can uh, modify the number of the ghost too but I like less goes and just something like this uh, I have to the glow is very low and the streak no the the sunbeams sunbeam seems to be I don't like them in this picture something just like this okay. something just like this uh, this is what I like and then uh, what I have to do here is just to make a render. Um, I can tweak uh, the here the same the sampling, uh, but uh, it's just an element, uh, really simple. Uh, if you want, you can put one, two, eight to be sure, but it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I will render here. Okay, this is the result of our render and. This is the picture with a lens flare on it. Please let me know uh, if this helps or if you have any question about this way of doing this. I was thinking about another way of doing this using only the compositor, um, but if you think that this way is good for you, uh, it's better just to, to use this way. Uh, if you want to know the other way, uh, please write me in the comments and I will do it. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.